Now that you have got a nice collection of books at your home, you're wondering how to take care of them, how to prevent them from browning or yellowing, and how to just maintain them forever and ever and pass on to the next generation. If you are looking for an answer for this, keep watching this video. Hi guys, I'm Manpreet. I make book related videos on this channel. And in today's video, I'm going to share some tips on how to keep your books like new as long as possible. Here's my story. I never thought about keeping books in good shape. I was just keeping them the way I was keeping them. And when recently a lot of you started asking me this question on how to take care of books, I was like, what am I doing that I don't have any problems like that? So I started thinking and reading about maintaining books and here's what I found out. This video is divided into two sections. First section consists of points on how to read a book so that your book is maintainable in a better manner. So first of all, know that you are going to have a very tough time taking care of paperbacks as compared to hardbacks because of the fact that paperbacks, especially mass market paperbacks, these are like, like a little bit cheap quality paperbacks, cheap they are. And these books usually get ruined in a couple of years as they are not made of good material. So keep that in mind, you will never have same results for the hardback and a paperback and a mass market paperback. Three of them are going to age differently and three of them are going to pose different problems. So while reading a book, keep these things in mind. Number one, use a flat bookmark. Do not use bookmarks that will make shapes in the pages of the book or do something like that. Now the most important part of the book is the spine. If this gets damaged, your book is not going to be safe at all. So when you're reading a book, make sure you're reading like this. I know a lot of people make fun of me because I read like this at times, but this is how you should be reading a book to not spoil it. Now this is not completely open. If you're going to try to open it properly, the spine will break. At the time I had the entire Game of Thrones series, but you know, when I open this, now this opens the entire book the entire book opens but it also damages the spine so reading these books is like me seeing myself damage the spine because see the line because i opened the book now so uh, this is going to be a problem with the paperback some of the paperbacks which is why i don't want to have this paperback at all i'm not reading these series this series because of these paperback copies so that is that so always open the book in this manner so that if the spine is good if the paperback copy is good the book stays fine also when you're reading a hardback please take off the jacket this is the jacket you do not have to read the book with this jacket always take it off and then read the book and there are specific like jacket covers that uh, are in the market you can also buy that if you buy a lot of hardbacks which is usually the case in foreign countries because in india hardbacks are way too expensive if you are buying hardbacks rich people then buy a different jacket for when you are reading the book number three please do not eat while you are reading i know i also do that i recently made a video where i was eating a pizza while reading my book but it definitely spoils your book the chances are more so try not to do that next never leave your book open while you are reading because that is a sure shot method of breaking the spine of your book and it has happened to me and i truly did not notice that until i started making this video so thank you guys for requesting this video because i would not have known what was damaging my book recently but it was my habit of leaving them open for like an hour and then coming back and then picking it up again don't do that okay close your book take a bookmark close it then take a break lastly while you're reading please try not to break the spine this is a very obvious thing i cannot point out the many reasons how people can break the spine but just do not do it especially if you're borrowing somebody's book do not break the spine now coming to actually maintaining the book storing them and you know making sure they are safe for the next generation first of all try to store them up right like this now if you cannot store them upright for example the book is too long to be stored that way then never store them on the basis of the spine or this area because this is going to damage the spine we are going to talk about it a lot so don't store your books in this manner store them in this manner or keep them flat like this try your best to keep them this way secondly if you see a theme here a lot of people ask me how do you organize your bookshelves and i have always cringed at those people who organize it with color and do not mind that you know some book is longer some book is shorter because if you store the same size books together that's apparently the most suggested method by the librarians and bookkeepers to keep your books safe and good 
so i don't know the logic behind it but i am like happy storing my books this way and i think it's good that they suggested this way because i wouldn't keep them any other way next you should try to keep your books away from direct sunlight or direct light now the only time when my books get direct light is when i'm filming the videos because of the lights that fall on my face which are the artificial lights but otherwise this is in a very shady corner of the room where no direct sunlight happens or you know nothing happens which is why i feel like it has been 7 years since the books are there in this bookshelf and all of those books are like like new they are not brown pages only the old ones that i bought as old ones are the bad books on my shelf others are like pretty good also you need to keep your books away from humidity now humidity is not a big problem i think in our area it's like it's a problem at times like right now but usually it's like okay temperature not that cold not that hot so um, i think my books are fine but if you live in a area where there is a lot of humidity use a dew humidifier in your room if you use it regularly or just to you know get the humidity out of your room at times when it gets too much i think that would help because humidity actually ruins your books the whole idea is to prevent the moisture from entering your books and also any like direct uh, source of heat or cold affecting your books in some manner next is that try to keep your books open like this now this is a dusting disaster because dusting is also very important for your books you need to dust your books at least once a month like i take them out at least once a month and completely dust this whole bookshelf and it takes like 2 3 hours but i do that otherwise i use a cloth to dust the bookshelf from outside once a week now yeah dusting is important but when you keep them in the cupboard which is closed that ruins your books even more and thank god i know that because here are, here's the thing this is my book before i had this bookshelf and it's totally yellowed pages like i know i bought it like quite white pages and totally yellow pages totally yellow and i would probably never read this book because of that fact but i think it happened and i know it happened because a lot of people say that a lot of librarians also talk about that it's because i kept i used to have a very closed cupboard and the book was lying there so it has yellowed a bit because of lying in a closed shelf check out this book now now this book is like even from the cover you can see that only the cover is dirty because i don't wipe it off but otherwise the pages are quite white because of that and it's not even good quality pages it's like cheap paperback and still it's very much white because i feel like it's open and it helps if your bookshelf is like an open ended bookshelf your mom will hate it you will hate it when you will have to clean it but it will save your books make sure the room where your books are lying is properly ventilated so that air crosses the room and because it it's in the lobby so a lot of air crosses here and it keeps my books safe and that's it guys these are like some little methods and little things that you need to keep in mind to keep your books safe and i hope this video helps you out it certainly helped me to know that things i was doing is right and i do not need to change doing that and i hope it helps you as well to take care of your books and make them last longer and pass them on to your kids thank you so much for watching this video this is manvi signing off i'll be back with another video very soon